I'm live! And it's sideways! I hope this works this time. Third time's a charm, right guys? <laughs> what is going on YouTube? Nicole Spence, back at ya, out here live at Nicole's Fishing Bed and Breakfast. And we got Kobe, come here. So you guys got to meet Kobe in the last video or live video. We were on our way down to Venice, Louisiana to the Mermaid Cove and the bed and breakfast. And I have clients that checked in. Say hi, Kobe. I know, I know. Um, so I have clients that are staying with me and I prepared their dinner last night. And then I went over there this morning and made their breakfast and packed their lunches and they are out fishing right now. And I am back at the Mermaid Cove, which is the office for the bed and breakfast. And I am actually preparing their dinner, which tonight I'm going to do a seafood baked potato with crawfish and shrimp, um, like stuffing. So it's gonna be really good. And I'm gonna put him down and wash my hands really quick and show you guys some of the shrimp that I just picked up at the shrimp dock. They're humongous. <sighs> so welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm Nicole Spence, owner and operator of My Bed and Breakfast. And I wanted to do something a little different today by going live in my kitchen and kind of letting you guys be a part of what I do out here. Um, you know, clients go out fishing and I prepare all of their meals. So I pick, actually picked up some jumbo shrimp here that were caught yesterday from the shrimp dock. And I'm currently peeling them. As you can see right here, I started a few with the last live video, but um, it wasn't a success. So what's going on? And I'm gonna answer some questions and just kinda you know talk with you guys and See what you're up to on this lovely Saturday and it's a Labor Day weekend. I don't know how many people are actually going to tune into this, but I figured you guys could be a part of my little journey. Um, super pumped. I'm wearing my bed and breakfast shirt. If you guys want to purchase one, it's going to be in the link in the description below. Um, you can see it also back there. Can everybody hear me okay? Can everybody see me okay? <laughs> I'm just going to peel these... Sh uh, do some more peeling of these shrimp over here. And like I said, I'm doing a seafood, seafood baked potatoes tonight. And I've got the oven actually already on, heating up. And I'm gonna, um, you know, wrap those up with some salt and olive oil and tin foil and put those in the oven to start the baked potatoes. And then for my stuffing for the seafood baked potatoes is, you know, the shrimp and crawfish is the base. But I do, you know, I usually pan sear butter with peppers, onions, and celery. Kind of caramelize and melt that down for a while, let it cook for a while down. Um, you know, add different seasonings and all that. I do like a white wine to give it a little flavor. Um, I add, I usually caramelize some mushrooms either on the side or sometimes I add it in there. And I just slowly cook it all, you know, like probably takes, it probably takes a couple hours to really get it right because you wanna, you wanna make sure everything is cooked down first. And then you want to add your meat, your crawfish, and your shrimp at the very end. So that's why I'm just going ahead and getting these um, shrimps peeled. And then I'll just stick them in the refrigerator on some ice. And wash them off really good because, you know, out here in Louisiana, it's very muddy water. So they're kind of dirty, you can see. Um, so you want to get that, like, dirty taste out of them. And what I do is uh, to peel them, I just, all I'm doing is like, here's a big shrimp. I just pop the head off like that. And then I usually stick my hands right around here and just kind of peel it off. And you 
just peel off the legs. And there you have a jumbo yummy shrimp. So you guys, if you wanna ask me some questions, go right on ahead and I'll try to answer. Thank you, thank you for subscribing. Yeah, that's a big thing, guys. Um, welcome back to my channel. I am Nicole Spence and I really love you guys. I really appreciate it. But if you guys could for sure subscribe and hit the notification button so that you're notified whenever I do post or I guess if I go live, let me know what you guys think. Do you, do you like my videos? What could I do more? of um do you like the live videos should i go live more um so you guys tell me leave some comments and i'll go back and respond later my pendant is a swordfish not a marlin it's a swordfish and then I have little antlers with pearls. And then I always wear my pearl earrings. So it's a little combination of me because I love outdoor adventures with Nicole. That's what my channel is all about, right? So I love hunting. I love fishing. I love diving. And my pendant with the antlers and the pearl represents, you know, hunting. And then the pearl is the ocean. So like diving. And then I have my swordfish for fishing. And I love, you know, swordfish. Start, I love fishing in general, but swordfish are just really, really cool if you've never caught one. I highly recommend it, putting it on your bucket list of things to do. And we happen to catch a lot of them out here in Venice, Louisiana. So go figure, you guys come out, go fishing, stay at the bed and breakfast. It'll be a good time. And like I mentioned before, I have my bed and breakfast shirts for sale it'll be in the link in the description below after this video goes live and it's posted um or it is live but then i can add a description later i will put it in there so you guys can uh purchase your bed and breakfast shirts and i'm mailing out magnets and stickers with every order also i went live the other day with selling calendars so this year we have the bikini bow fishing the bikini saltwater fishing, the bikini bass fishing, and we're not gonna do spear fishing this year, but we we are gonna do a new one. It's guns, it's it's guns and bikinis and bullets. So if you guys are you know interested in that type of any of those type of calendars, and actually when these clients check out on Monday. I have, a, I have like a couple days off before my next client's check-in and I'm gonna go to town and go to the printers and discuss with them about doing my own personal 12 month calendar of just outdoor adventures with Nicole. What do you guys think of that? Would you guys be interested? Would you purchase them? Um, am I married or single? I'm single. I'm single as a Pringle. <laughs> single as a Pringle. Yeah, that's why I put that dating application out there. Um, to find true love because I do want to get married and I do want to have kids. That's kind of the ultimate goal. Um, eventually I just, I've been very focused the last couple of years on my business and my, you know, I purchased this house last year and I renovated it and built and I've just been very busy with building the business and the house and everything else. And then COVID happened that kind of put, you know, a setback on things. But yeah, I definitely eventually want to meet somebody and I hope you guys, you know, still follow along my journey when I do meet someone because eventually they're going to be in my videos and when I have kids, they're, they're going to be in my videos and I want you guys to be a part of the journey. That's what it's all about. So, um, it's not all about bikinis and, you know, ass and tits. That's not what it's all about. So, it's really... I hope you guys follow me for other reasons than just that. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I love my bikinis. I'm not going to stop wearing my bikinis, but, but at the end of the day, that's not really what it's all about. So, wow, I've already been on here for almost uh, 10 minutes. That's crazy. Will you guys ask me some questions? I'll answer them. 
Um, yeah, South Africa. That's awesome. I'm ready to go back. It's been November will be two years since I went to South Africa. I had a blast. I spent three weeks over there and I would love to just go back. But with all this COVID stuff, there's not been much traveling. Obviously, I went to Bermuda and that was quite the process. I actually had to um, get COVID tested three times and I was only in Bermuda for a week. Isn't that crazy? Aruba? I've never been there. Wow. Hi from Aruba. That's awesome. You, yeah, you guys comment where you're from. Did I ever uh, see myself being a YouTuber? Uh, no, I no. I when I got, first got introduced to it probably about five years ago, I did not understand anything about it, and I still am learning. Honestly, um, it was a struggle just to get this live video up. I, I had to do it three times before we're here. Houston, Texas, what's going on? Missouri. Oh, you guys, I love it. They're from all over. This is awesome. So I'm just finishing this up right now. Washington, Missouri, so many different places. I love it. It's so awesome. You guys make me so happy. I Do you guys like me going live? North Carolina. Woo -woo. <laughs> Texas. Another North Carolina, Georgia. What's going on, Georgia? Long Island, Pennsylvania. Wow, I've got people from all over watching this right now. This is great. What are you guys doing on Labor Day? It's Saturday, right? Yeah, it's Saturday, I guess mid-morning, depending on where you're at, maybe late morning at this point. I don't even know what time it is. My clock is wrong right there too. Kobe's down here at my feet, just looking at me like, mom, I want some of that shrimp. <laughs> working? Okay, well, I'm working too. I'm working in the kitchen, and I just figured I'd let you guys kind of join and be a part of it. Working on the kayak, nice. All you, all you do is work. Hey, story of my life. <laughs> That's all I do too. I think I have four days off in the month of... Um, September from the bed and breakfast and those four days I have to go to town and reload up on groceries because it's a four hour round trip It's two hours to town and then two hours back down here and then probably three or four hours at the grocery store so it ends up being an all-day affair so I go to town and Because you know, I, I'm a girl. I like to go get my nails done or my hair done or um, you know, run errands, go get stuff for the house, all that. And then I hit up the grocery stores on my way back, right before on my way back down. So it ends up being like a 12 to 14 hour day if I leave early in the morning. And then sometimes I don't return till like 10 o'clock at night. It's crazy, but I get a lot done and I load up on groceries and then we're good for a you know, a week or two or whatever. So guys, Kind of going a little fast. Let's see what we said here. I'm glad you enjoyed my video. Yeah, so um, Blue Gabe is actually supposed to come down here and stay with me. And he's going to bring his airboat. And we're going to collaborate and do some more videos. That's supposed to be the plan. Lafayette, Louisiana. What's up? <laughs> come on down here to the Venice, Louisiana. Bye, you. <laughs> I actually really love it down here. Everybody thinks I'm crazy for like mo moving from Florida to Louisiana, but um, I, I get the most, I get the best of both worlds because I get to go back home and visit my family and my friends in Florida and travel around. And then I come back here and I've got, you know, friends here and all my captains and my lodges and my business. So it, I get the best of both. I, I really enjoy both. I love, I do love it down here. I really do. Um, did the hurricane mess up fishing? I think it may have a little bit because I had some clients um, staying at my house rental and the other day and they went inshore fishing and they didn't do so good. So, um, and they were targeting the bull reds but 
that that hurricane was already a what over a week ago so the the fishing should definitely start to pick back up um i know my guys are going offshore tomorrow so um and i haven't even been to the marina yet i've been home for a few days but i've been um kind of getting my house organized and situated and i had to go to town and load up on groceries and get ready for these clients that's why i haven't even been able to um edit a video for you guys this week and i just went live driving here and then decided to go live now in the kitchen um i know i've had some requests of you guys doing like cooking cooks and all of that but i i kind of figured i wanted you guys to be a part of my a part of my business about you know the bed and breakfast like preparing meals for clients and all that good stuff so that's the fun stuff my clients are awesome i have four guys staying with me it was supposed to be five but i guess it's just four now and they're really sweet they're from texas they're from uh i think all over different parts of texas so can't remember what part exactly so that's exciting and fun. I got Mr. Kobe down here at my feet. What are you doing? Yeah, my handsome. I'm almost done. And then I'm gonna put these baked potatoes in the oven. So do you guys want me to stay, stay on here for a little longer and do the baked potato? at least put the baked potatoes in the oven or would you guys, what do you prefer? <laughs> Can you just come for supper? No, unfortunately you got to stay, you got to stay for a couple days and you got to have at least four people minimum to stay at the bed and breakfast because overhead and costs and all that, it doesn't make sense for just one person to come stay. So, <sighs> But I hope you guys order lots of shirts and calendars from me. I really appreciate all the love and support. I am a one woman operation. It's just me, it's just me and Kobe. Um, you know, I do all the cooking. I do all the booking. I do all the advertising. I edit all my own videos. I film all my own videos. Um, you know, all the sponsors that I deal with, I deal with them directly. I don't have a manager or anything like that. So. It's a lot of work, so um, I actually wouldn't mind finding an editor. If you guys know anybody that's like an editor um, that would possibly want to help me out, I can't really afford to like pay anybody right now, but um, it would be really good for their resume um, or something. Maybe, I don't know. I've been up in the air about it, but I, I think it would help me out tremendously having an editor if I can be out getting the content and then have them editing while I'm, you know, that way we can put out more videos for you guys. Cause that's the struggle. Editing takes, for me, it takes like all day. All right. So I just finished up these shrimp. I'm going to go put this over here in the sink. And I'm going to go ahead and do these, um, Oh yeah, you guys, check out Dano Seasoning. He's got two different kinds and I put this on everything. So I will be putting this all in my etouffee um, or my seafood baked potatoes. It was all in the gumbo last night that I served. And then I am drinking my coffee. It's called, I call it my happy coffee in my Salt Life um, cup here. And I actually just partnered up with this coffee that I, it helps with anxiety and anxiousness and stress. And it's actually like a lot healthier for you than average coffee. I'm also going to have that link in the description below. So you guys should definitely check out my happy coffee link. Um, okay, so let's, oh, I thought I turned this on. I think it was getting too hot. So let's turn this on. So I'm gonna set it to um, 400. I don't have anything in there right now. And then I have my baked potatoes over here. Here. There, you guys can see a little better what I'm doing. 
I love my, my kitchen the, at the Mermaid Cove. It's so exciting. Okay, so I ripped off four of these and what I do is I wash off, I get the jumbo potatoes and I wash them off. And then I actually need a knife. I got all my Bubba blades in here, but that is way too big of a knife. I need like a smaller one for, cause I just need to stab it a little bit, put some holes in it. So let's do, See if this one will work. So I just stab holes in it like this. And then what I do is put a little bit of olive oil, which I have in here. And I just sprinkle that on there. And then I have this pink um, sea salt. And I just sprinkle a little bit of that on there. And then I wrap it up. Just like this. And I'm gonna do that with all four of these and then I stick them in the oven and let them cook for probably an hour and a half to two hours. Um, it just depends, I just check on them. You know, you start, you definitely start to smell them and when they're, you, you, I stick a fork in it whenever I feel like it's getting close to time. If you guys wanna ask me some questions before, it's been, I've been on here for 22 minutes so um, I'm probably going to go ahead and shut it off if you guys want to, I can answer a couple questions real quick. Thanks guys. Yes, I cook, clean, fish, hunt, dive, do all the good stuff. That's me, Nicole Spence. <laughs> um, no, they don't really like dogs. So I'm partnered up with uh, like 20 houseboats and condos and they just, they don't really... A lot of them don't allow it. It's just, yeah. Unfortunately, might have to find a a puppy sitter there. From Brazil, hi! I hope you're enjoying my live stream video that I got going on right now. Uh, okay, that was not an inappropriate comment. Gonna go back and delete that. Thanks, one day I will be a wife and a mother to children because that's the ultimate goal. And yes, I would like to get married. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great weekend as well. Do I run my own charter boat? No, I'm a bed and breakfast, all-inclusive lodging. So you come to me and you let me know how many people you have. For me, it's four people minimum to stay. And then you tell me the dates that you're coming to stay. And you tell me what type of fishing that you and your party would like to do. And then I set it all up because I'm partnered with all sorts of different captains from bow fishing to inshore fishing, offshore fishing. Um, we even have you know the duck hunting, gator hunting, hog hunting, all that good stuff as well. Um, and I set it all up for you as a one-stop shop. So you just come to me. So no, I'm not a captain. I do not have a boat yet. I am going to purchase a boat, but I'm probably going to have a boat for the bed and breakfast and hire a captain to run it for me. But no, I don't have a boat and I don't have a captain's license. I just enjoy fishing, um, on my free time and time that I go travel and, see friends and all that. We, we typically fish or dive or even hunt. I like all the outdoors. I really just love the outdoors. Just about anything outdoors. So 
What's my next adventure? Well, I'm actually gonna be here in Venice, Louisiana for the next couple of months because I'm fully booked all of September and October and I'm gonna be very busy with everything. So I hope to get out on the water a little bit here and there, um, you know, either with clients or even on any of the days that I do have off, possibly fun fishing. It's a struggle, um, you know, I don't have my own boat, so I have to like get invited or try and set it up with friends that may be going fun fishing and they invite me. Um, and then I can film for you guys and do a little fishing and do some videos and then, ed then I have to edit it and then go live with it. So that's why sometimes my videos take a while for me to be able to produce and get back out to you guys, just because the amount of, you know, everything else going on with the bed and breakfast and traveling and filming and then having to edit and then post. It does, it's very time consuming. You have to have good Wi-Fi. Um, it all, it, there's, it's a struggle. So you guys bear with me on that and possibly help me out with like finding an editor would be awesome. But, or give me some ideas as far as like, you know, I can do more of the kitchen stuff, which I probably will just because I'm gonna be in the kitchen for the next couple of months anyways. I'll do some more stuff like this and going lives. Um, and I do have a lot of content that I still need to go back and edit and produce you know, out for you guys to go live with it. So there is gonna still be some videos coming your way. I just have to get situated and adjusted back down here because I haven't been here in a while. I was in Florida visiting family, so. What age did I start fishing? So my dad actually owned a seafood market growing up and he was a commercial fisherman when I was born. So I've been around it my entire life actually. Um, and I actually didn't take up on fishing or I've always loved the outdoors, but I didn't really take up on the whole wanting to be involved in the outdoors more like I am now until probably about like five, six years ago is when this, this journey completely started. And, you know, I, I had an Instagram and I just started posting and then it, it slowly grew and I was introduced to YouTube and I'm still trying to grow it. You know, I, if you guys could subscribe to my channel, I greatly appreciate it. Turn on the bell notification so you guys are notified whenever I post and it helps me out tremendously and I'm super blessed. I thank you guys so much for being a part of my journey and you know loving and supporting. Support me by you know buying shirts, buying calendars, um, buy you know salt life and bubba blades and my happy coffee that's I'm actually sipping on. All of that helps out tremendously. Share my videos. Um, get people to come stay at the bed and breakfast. So everything helps. But all right, guys, I'm going to hop off here because it's been 30 minutes already and I need to get these potatoes in the oven. I don't even know what time it is. But I love you guys so much. Happy Saturday. Happy Labor Day. Everyone stay safe. Don't drink and drive. I love you. And I will see you guys hopefully in a few days. Um, I may put, go live again, or I may have time to edit a video and I'll go and I'll post that for you. So subscribe to my channel, Nicole Spence, and turn the notifications on, hit the thumbs up and leave some comments. Love you guys. Say bye, Kobe. Say bye. Bye guys. <laughs>